On arrival at the Isles Cross, you will see some changes. One of the main things is that we have decluttered, and this is wonderful for all of us who are used to coming to the Isles Cross. Lots of space now, and lots of um, room to move around. We've got just a couple of chairs in the entrance area so that we are maintaining social distancing. We've put foot markers onto the floor, stickers, again to remind people to keep that distance to keep them safe. We've decluttered all the areas where we had lots of flyers and posters and we've cut it back to the bare minimum that we need. On the toilets here, you'll see that we have signs indicating it's better that one person goes in at a time. And there are little catches on the inside of the toilet so that one person is in there, they can pop that across. And again, we can maintain social distancing in the toilet areas. Uh, whilst we're in the centre, it is now advised to wear a face covering and we have mostly adopted the face shield. If I put this on, you won't be able to hear me, but I'll just demonstrate it nice and easy with an elastic strap with my name on so that nobody else will take mine. Makes it much easier to maintain eye contact with the people that come here, which we felt was very important with the types of clients that we generally deal with. Though people can also buy uh, masks from us that a wonderful gang of volunteers have made. So we have ordinary masks, we have um, the fabric masks and we have visors available for anyone coming into the centre. When people actually come in here and eat or drink, then as in restaurants where you've perhaps been to already, you'll see that it's okay to remove the mask to consume food. And also the guidance is that if you're taking part in a activity, then it's okay to remove the mask. We don't want anybody losing their breath when they're taking part in Zumba or yoga or some such thing.